From MetsmerizedOnline.com, headline 2024 season preview, the low A St. Lucie Mets. Now, before we get into this video, you need to hit that subscribe button. Been sort of uh, trying to catch up. We're catching up now. 24 St. Lucie Mets open the year, hoping to move on from the debacle of the 23 season and return to what they accomplished in 2022, a Florida State League Championship. The St. Lucie squad will have their third manager in as many seasons with former Mets farmhand Yukari De La Cruz set to grab the reins for his first managerial season. De La Cruz's staff is led by bench coach Jeremy Cologna, hitting coach Alejandro Diaz, pitching coach Jordan Krause, and development Bree Nasty. De La Cruz will look to lead an offense-heavy squad into Florida State League play, headlined by multiple top Mets draft picks and prospects, including the likes of the 2023 first-round pick Colin Houck, infielders Jesus Baez and Marco Vargas, Catcher Ronald Hernandez and outfielder Nick Morabito. Strength the St. Lucie squad figures to be their offense. Both Vargas and Hernandez came to the Mets in the trade that sent David Robinson to the Marlins. The Mets pitching will be looking to improve on their lackluster results from 2023. St. Lucie's 5.62 ERA was easily the worst in the Florida State League. The Mets finished 0 0.66 points higher than the ninth place team in terms of staff ERA. The Mets struck out the third fewest batters, had the worst staff whip, and allowed the highest batting average as a staff. Overall, the staff needs to take a major step forward. The group of arms that De La Cruz will manage in 24 will be led by the likes of the 23 draftees, Cade Morris, Austin Tresher, and Wyatt Hoodpole. Right hand is Leolel, Le Leonel Ovalis and Joel Lyme Ramirez, and other intriguing arms such as the 2022 draft selection. Jonathan, who has actually pitched really well. The Mets staff lacks the firepower top prospects of their lineup, but their pitching also figures to benefit from some more names as the season goes on. The staff is led by a handful of 23 draft picks. Beyond the likes of Morris, Tresher, and Hoodpool, pitchers Brett Banks, Zach Thornton, and Jack Winnegar are all on the opening day roster for St. Lucie. The team announced on Thursday, so last week afternoon, that Winnegar will be the team's opening day starter. Also of no reliever, Ryan Hammonds, who the Mets received in a Rule 5 draft deal uh, from the Boston Red Sox for the selection of Justin Slayton, makes his organizational debut with St. Lucie. Beyond the 23 draft selection, St. Lucie will run out some familiar names in the bump. Reliever Saul Garcia is back with St. Lucie after logging 67 innings with the squad last season. Ramirez and Ovalis are also set for another run with the team but their stays could be quick with them jumping up to Brooklyn relatively early into the new season. The St. Lucie staff is fairly inexperienced, which could lead to another season of pitching struggles for the Mets. However, the room for upside is definitely there at Clover Park, and if Ramirez and Ovalis can return to form, they might log some important innings for De La Cruz's staff early on. Here are the catchers. Ronald Hernandez, Vincent Perozo, and Christopher Suero. St. Lucie will have a strong catching group led by Hernandez, 20-year-old, logged an 875 OPS last season, slugging four homes and having a 452 on base percentage. Hernandez also logged five games in at first base. Perozo's 21 had eight home runs and 46 RBIs in 88 games in St. Lucie. The 20-year-old Suero had an impressive 281, 422, 469, and 21 games for the Florida Complex League Mets last season. Infielders. Hauk, Colin Hauk is the Mets' ninth best prospect, according to Metsmerized. Hauk has 29 bats in his professional career and posted 699 OPS in that sample size for the Florida Complex League Mets. Hauk was the Mets' first round selection last year, going off the board at 32nd overall. Many in the baseball draft circles expect Hauk to move from before that spot, but his desire for a larger bonus than some teams were willing to, to offer and a strong enough commitment to Mississippi State, one of the best college baseball programs in the country, worked him to the back end of the first round for the Mets. Vargas, Mets from right six rank, ranked prospect, figures to be, just, to be just outside baseball's top 100 prospects. Vargas is a slick fielding middle infield who posts an 821 OPS. Between the Mets and Marlins organization in 23, he posts an incredible 432 on base percentage on the season, mainly plays short with second and third base sprinkled in. Despite posting strong numbers the year before, Baez struggled to a 639 OPS 
and just two homers last year in the Florida Complex League. The 19 year old is known for always being among the league leaders in exit velocity and having a cannon for an arm. Save Us posted, Save Us, let me go back. Uh, Yaharo Save Us posted 1082 OPS in the Florida Complex League last year. Uh, Diego Mascara is a glove first infielder, and Antonia was selected in the 05 draft this year, and that is uh, Donovan Antonia. Outfielders, Cam Clark, Fabian Machado, and Nick Morbido. Morbido's MMO's 26th-ranked prospect is cracking an opening day full-season roster after being the 75th overall selection in the 2022 amateur draft. The outfielder put a, together an incredible, strong 23 campaign, ending with a 780 OPS between the, tw- the Florida Complex League and St. Lucie. Morbido profiles is an incredibly athletic defender who will make plays in the outfield. So this is this is what we we have right now. Uh, a lot to look forward to, obviously, this year. And obviously, they've gotten the games done. So this is the final uh, uh, preview for you until we get to the Florida Complex League clubs. That comes down later on in a few months. So thank you for watching this video. Of course, please subscribe to the Prospect Hut. You get all the information on the Mets prospects and the Mets organization. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.